Hey, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Mark. How are you getting on today? We have a whole hell of a lot to start off this episode with. So last time I said the tunnel will be done. Bang! Here it is. It goes right down to the water. The mine is pretty much there. We now have this to customize. Not only that, I decided that I would actually like a little bit of workroom and workspace where I could actually possibly hide all the automated stuff. So we've completely emptied out down here. Here's what everything looked like in here before we went to work. It was honestly way more work than I thought it would be. This took like two hours. I think this is where I'm going to put the automated wheat farm, the automated sugarcane farm, and then just any other farms that we would like to start with. South and B, we did a little bit of exploring just so we can try and find a closer village. We want to just find anything else that'll be interesting. We have a jungle very, very close to us. I've started growing the cocoa beans. We have bamboo. We have the best trees in the game. They're so cool. We will get to what's going on with the nether portal in just a wee second. However, when we were adventuring, we did kind of find some other stuff. Well, look, it kind of really speaks for itself, so here's past Mark to explain. Hey! Past Mark here. Hope the editing's going well. I'm here to give you a little bit of context about how wild the world generation is. The mushroom biomes are meant to be quite rare. And we just happen to have one that's about 1,300 blocks from the house. That's not all that's here. You take a quick look to my right, and a quick look through the spyglass, you can see the top of an ocean monument, which are always very fun to play with. However, you can kind of see just right there, the top of the ocean monument. But then you look over here, and there's another one. And this one is really, really close. Well, hello there, boys. So yeah, we've got a mushroom island right in the middle of two ocean monuments. That's a bit mad. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. I would assume in the future we'll probably do something with that, even if it is just slapping up a beacon and stealing all the prismarine. So here, I was not happy with just having a little pedestal for the nether to be on, and we've dug out under it. It's now kind of floating. I was thinking down here we could have all these blocks on fire, whether it be the nether rack or the soul sand, the blue fire, the red fire, whichever kind of fire, maybe some lava, and then we cover it with the black glass glass we can walk over that this will all be the nether bricks some kind of basalt basalt whoever we did free gavin the golem here he's no longer penned in and stuck first things first see that sign get it down lovely what a start now because i'm walking over that way anyway we might as well enchant the pick while we're over there because if you thought the intro to this video was already done you are very much mistaken as you saw in the intro we have a horse you can't craft saddles anymore so i kind of need to go fishing hey there everybody say hello to jeffrey greenbody uh he did have a brother but um well without going into too much detail let's just say that campfires and parrots are not friends what do I need? Two of you. One, two, three of you. Craft sticks. Craft pick. Grab lapis. A quick prayer to the enchanting gods. And then... Uh, sure. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then we hope... Holy hell. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that'll do quite nicely. I guess you stay there for when I make an anvil and make efficiency five? My goodness. Oh, man, honestly, what a start. You're in for an absolute treat today. And we have a sunset right away? I don't know who is looking out for me. But oh my goodness, wait. Slap you on. No, you get rid of my hat. Right. Yeah, there we go. Look at these lovely golden enchanted trousers. Oh, they're glorious. And I'm handsome. Now get me to bed. This is going to be a bit of a challenge as I'm currently trying to replicate a design that I've only ever seen a couple of times. This is going to be trial and error. And if it doesn't work, then I'll go and have a look at it again. But for right now... I think we start like this. And then down here, we have another row of seven, I think. Okay, that goes down there as a water collection system. So far, everything I think I'm doing is working, so that's a positive. Now, up here needs to be dispensers. Is that right? Pretty sure that's right, but I don't think I have any, so give me a second. I need a bow and arrow! Where am I gonna get eight bow and arrows from? That could genuinely be an issue. I have six string. Where'd you get string from easily? Can you break down woolen to be in string? No. Where'd you get string from? So now is as good a time as any, I guess, to make a diamond sword. I've still got the levels to get a really good enchantment on it. So I guess that may- I'm panicked. I'm waffling back and forth. I can't find where I'm going. Oh, please be good. If you joke around and give me Bane of Arthropods, there will be words had. Knockback 2? Are you joking me? Oh, you're actually at it. I guess enchant a book? Oh, you're having me on. Unbreaking 3 would be so good to get on a book. Ah, uh, yeah, screw it. Give me... Give me... Yeah, right. Yep, yeah, cool, great. Give me that. Give me that. Sharpness 3. Okay, sound. Better than nothing, right? The video started so well. Now I'm being finessed. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me fire, you rat. All right. Let's go kill some skeletons. Why would I be killing skeletons? I forgot the word for spider. Hiya! It's gonna be a long night. Hiya! 
I don't think I've got a single bit of string yet. No, I'm on seven. We have one. One bit of string. Go away. That a witch. Ah. How many bits do we need? So we have one. We need seven more. Oh, for goodness sakes. We need 21 bits of string. Ah. Why could I not have gotten looting? Oh, actually drop your bow. Do it. Do it. Oh my god, he did. Okay, now we actually only need nine more bits. Yeah, that actually was kind of lucky. I know this is dark, but there's not really much I can do. If I light it up, nothing will spot. Oh, this is cursed. If I light it up, oh, for God's sake. If I light it up, nothing will spawn. And so, oh, two bits. You are a hero. Die and drop your bow if you're cool. If any one of them breaks my trousers, I'm going to be livid. How much strings did I say I needed? I have two bows. Did he just drop a bow? Oh, I've got so many bows. Oh, never mind. I Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. And then we need, yeah, nine bits of string. Okay, cool. We're done. Oh, I will be furious if they have to be unbroken bows. Oh, don't. Oh, my God, yes. Can it not be the enchanted one? I mean, I guess that would make... That's a dropper. What the hell did I just make? Oh, thank God. Okay, right. I'm panicking. Grab some sticks. I can make four bows. We're golden. We're laughing. Drop them on the floor. Do that. Two more dispensers. Pick them up. Two more dispensers. And we're done. Oh, amazing. All right. Let's see back in the hole. This goes like that. Can I run redstone across the top? Guess only one way to find out. No, you can't. Okay. Hmm. Let me just do something like this instead. Then I assume this will work. Is that not typically go into the back of it or just does lighting that up ah, i don't know redstone works okay i need a button i mean a pressure plate will also do i mean i guess if the dispenser doesn't have anything in it it's not gonna dispense <sighs> idiot you can have a bit of dirt and if i do this that doesn't work why not i hate redstone i hate it hate it hate it is there something did i not just try oh I oh you idiot stop being stupid now Aha! It's not exactly the most pretty thing in the world, but I mean, I guess it doesn't need to be for now. I'm starting to see why I've never done redstone before, because this is impossible. What am I doing next? I've done this wrong somehow, but I'm not smart enough to work out how. Okay, I think maybe it's meant to be like that. That block there is a hopper. If I put it down one block, is it meant to be up a block? Will it really matter? Right, I'm gonna go and make... I don't know what I'm gonna go make. Um, let's see. I need some water buckets. I need a hopper. I need a chest. Okay, right. I'll be back with all those... Th oh, this is gonna be so iron heavy. So I have done something wrong. That is gonna be an issue, but... If I put the block there, I can't open the chip. Well, I mean, that's also an issue. I don't know what so I need to do. I think it it doesn't need to be one chest. I assure you, it doesn't. But for right now, I, I guess it's gonna be. I need to also, right, you go there. You get up here. Make my life much easier. Take you out, put you there, grab up. Oh, for grab up. I'm going to assume that going into the... Yeah, right, cool. It's working fine. Where are we? Grab you, throw you back in there, grab you, do that. Splendid. Is it the best thing you've ever seen? I would be very surprised if you said yes. However, as long as it works, ask me if I care. Because I'm telling you right now, the answer is no. Oh, you stupid moron. Oh, that is just... That is just the worst. Oh, I hate everything. Now, you can go away. You can come down here, please. Tell me you'll jump. You will. Amazing. Break you. I'm sure that's probably what I'm meant to do. And then put you there. And then only one of them. <sighs> Why is only one of them working? Oh, for cry. What? Oh, and then it. Oh, and it. Oh. Oh, I've really, 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 really bottled it. Why is that not working? Does this have to do that, do that, that, that? Oh, of course it's raining and it's nighttime. Honestly, what a brilliant time to be running around without my shoes on. Kick down the door, find this, grab that, run all the way back. Place, 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 place that there, place that there, do that. Now try it again. Now, none of it works. What have I done? I'm going to scream. Is it mi- Oh, did I wash away part of the redstone? Is that what I've done? No. Where has this come from? I'm furious. I'm going to- I'll I'll be back. Whichever one of you is sat there typing up a comment saying, Hey, learn about redstone, idiot. Well, I just learned about repeaters. So, I mean, I'm living my best life. If I was a rep- I, Yeah, there- Yes. Right? Now, are you ready for the show? Right. Bada bing- Bada boom. Oh, it's glorious. Is that... Yeah, that's meant to... Oh. 
My whole existence is pain. I've clearly built this on the wrong level. It's clearly meant to go up one. I don't really know what I can do about that. I have an idea, hold on. I have also been asked why I don't film me building stuff. This is why. This is meant to be the very first part of the episode. This is meant to be the first thing that I do. And this whole section is gonna be the whole damn video. Now, by no means is it the most efficient design, but I mean, if it works, it works, right. Actually, where did this, why is it not in my inventory? I've lost a chest somewhere. I'll get it back at some point. But you do that, this all washes down, and then hopefully, by any good grace, there's no leaks. And then, hopefully, I throw that in. It'll wash down. Because when you turn this off, it sucks it all back up. Then, that current will kick back in. It'll wash it down there. They're in the... Oh... Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm gonna go and get a hoe, I'm gonna get some seeds, and I'll set everything up, and then you'll see. You'll just see, because honestly, this has taken far longer than I had any right to. So something told me I was missing a very important part, but I just, for the life of me, couldn't quite work out what it was. And I'm hoeing the ground, and I'm trying to work out why it looks like it's got leprosy. And I've just not got any water anywhere near it, do I? So I need to, I don't know, work out how to poop. Could I... <laughs> oh, oh, no. Um, what could I do? What if we had that there? Oh, this is so, so raggedy. Hold on. What if we did something like that? And then we did that. I'm out of... Oh, I'm so annoyed. Right, but let's just for example. This is a shambles. I'm so sorry. What if just for example, we did... Yeah, and then that was just water. Would that water all up here? Maybe. I'm gonna try and uh, we'll be back. I just shouldn't have started doing this. Oh, that was such a pain. So we now have all these little side bits. It looks like it's got the mumps. Because to keep everything saturated, I've had to put a look... Stop testing me, game. I've had to put water under all these side bits here, which means to keep it properly encapsulated, I've had to, oh, just. I will replace the blocks and I will make it look cooler and better at some point, but for right now, I'll just be happy if it works. So in case of emergency, always keep your hoe nearby. I think I'm gonna let this grow for a wee while. And while I do that, I think I'm gonna put a skylight in here. Not that wheat needs light to grow, but I think that'll just be quite nice to have a skylight going from there to anywhere in this area. At least that way, I'll know when the button's ready to be pressed. I can see when all this is grown, we'll be able to keep looking at the sugar cane and make sure everything's working as it's meant to be. Any other farms we do down here, I think it's just a good idea. I'm gonna work out what size I want that to be. And we spent enough time working on this. We'll just be back when I've done something else. So I'll see you in a wee minute. All right, all right, all right, we're back. And this dude over here is in trouble. He's essentially in detention. The second I made the skylight, he went from up there, down here, to into the wheat farm. He kind of ran amok. And now I'm not entirely sure how to get him up top again. But that's not really important right now. We have a skylight. I've gone for brick into light gray glass, into actual glass. It's for a little bit of a tapered effect, it looks quite nice. It gets the job done. And from up here, we can check on the wheat. And then we get a pretty good view of most of the room. So it kind of does exactly what I need it to. But now the moment I am dreading. Because <laughs> if this... This doesn't work, there will be tears. I don't think there's any point in waiting for everything else to be grown. Three, two, one. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, All right. That worked really well. Wait for everything to be pushed down. Splendid. Now we turn everything off. There's a seed up there, that's fine. And it goes whoosh into the hopper, hopefully. Then, where's all my wheat? Why is this not filtering down onto these? That's kind of weird. Where's all my wheat? Ah, there we go. Where's this dirt coming from? I think it's all getting backed up in the hopper, but I really have no idea what you do about that. As long as I don't immediately need the food, this'll be amazing and it's really fun to look at. Watching the water cascade down is really fun. Put you back and then we get to planting. So there we go. Overall, I think that's pretty much a success. I mean, I don't exactly do much with redstone. So for me, that is a personal win. We're just gonna ignore the fact that I had to ask my girlfriend's little sister for help, but just the once. I don't know what to do about you. It really bothers me that you're down here. You were out of the sheep pen for four seconds and then you were immediately back in trouble. That's a pain, but I think that's another task we can knock off. So number five, done and dusted. What I'm gonna do next. I found out what we're doing next. Absolutely nothing. It is very, very much time to wrap up. There are a few things that we need to say before we do that. Gavin was over here. I built a staircase. He kind of naturally found his way up. 
But then he just won't leave here. Like, I have no idea why. But I've had to take down these cocoa beans because his tracking just... He just walks into them and gets stuck here instead of taking this three-wide gap. I don't really know what he's up to, to be honest, but I'm just happy that he's finally back out in the open until the inevitable moment that I might actually get on camera when he just wanders down there and gets stuck. But for now, you know, at least he's behaving himself. I figured I might as well just keep this staircase here because when we put other stuff down here, it won't hurt to have two entrances, but I'm definitely just keeping this up here in case he finds his way back down. We are wrapping up, I promise. I do just want to show you off that I've kind of fiddled around with the sides here and I think this looks a lot cleaner when we have other stuff down here and more stuff fits the overall aesthetic, vibe, just overall look. This won't look so out of place. Obviously now that everything is just dirt, this kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. But I think it's quite nice. These don't need to be as long as they are, but I thought it looked cool. I'm really happy with it. Let's go over to the task board, see what we've accomplished today, and see what we need to do for next time. I could have sworn we had done more than three things, you know. I'm honestly a little bit disappointed. Anyway, next time, we will absolutely be finishing the walls and doing the attic. At this rate, I think, honestly, I might do a little bit of the work off camera, and maybe if just inspiration hits, I'll do it all off camera, and then when we come back, we'll be like, hey, we have a house, because I don't really think that five episodes in, I can get away with still living with just no roof. The memorial, absolutely, because otherwise, it'll be too long and it'll kind of lose its relevance. So, for next time, we'll definitely do these three, and we'll probably work on the nether portal, I think. Or, actually, let me write up a few signs, and then we'll, we'll probably wrap up, yeah? Now, unless I'm forgetting something, I can only think of exploring the fortress and getting a saddle for the next episode. I feel like I'm forgetting to put up something really obvious. But regardless, I think we can do at least the house, the attic, the memorial, easily get a saddle, might even just get one if me and B go fishing tonight, honestly. And then exploring the fortress is something we need to do sooner rather than later, and now that we've got the underneath the sugar, yeah, yeah, the pedestal, the resources, yeah, okay, the resource is probably just gonna stay up, but the now, yeah, yeah, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, no excuses, it is absolutely time to wrap up, which means you now have to go about your day and find something else to do rather than listening to me waffle on. I had a lot of fun, I think we actually got quite a lot done today, even though the wheat farm took me 19 years to build. I did enjoy recording the whole process. I think it actually has been edited down and it's actually made quite a nice video. But it was just, oh, honestly, for a two minute project, I can't have it taking the whole video. I'm so sorry for my ineptitude. If you like the video, you can and should like the video. Currently, I'm uploading new episodes of this Let's Play every two days. So if you know of anyone who would enjoy the series, be sure to let them know. Be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a pet. Hold the screen up to your dog's face and I'm sure you're bound to get a giggle. I'm gonna have to Google after this if dogs can laugh. So having said that, and with that being said, I hope you stay out of trouble, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, and I'll see you later. I was about to fall down the hole, whoops.